Hey guys, it's Firebot about to play Mega Man on the NES. And this is going to be a let's play that's a bit different than most let's plays you may see on YouTube. It, it will be a speedrun, I'll try to run this as fast as I can. But at the same time, I'm going to show you the best ways of getting to some areas, um, best jumps, even if it takes me a couple of tries uh, to do it. So, uh, Mega Man, the original, was a game that uh, was pretty unpopular when it first came out. The uh, game itself was okay, but the uh, box art was probably one of the worst ones you'll ever see. And it wasn't until Mega Man 2 came out that people actually went back and played Mega Man. I know that the um, the game also is pretty unbalanced. It's uh, I would say the hardest the I would say it's the hardest Mega Man out of all of them. And it wasn't um, like I said, it's a still a pretty decent decent game though. So uh, don't skip out just because it is the first one. So let's get started here. You have uh, six robot masters instead of eight. And the order we're going to go through this is Gutsman, Cutman, Electman, Iceman, Fireman, and finally Bombman. And uh, in this game you do have points, so it is different than all the other Mega Man games. And uh, right from the start you get to deal with these little hard hats here. Try to kill them as fast as you can. We get to deal with one of the worst areas in the whole game, one of the hardest areas, these uh, platforms that are no can be real pain. And I, I remember them as a kid, they were pretty traumatizing when you first played Mega Man. I'm sure they were to a lot of people. Once you get past that area, the stage gets pretty straightforward. Whoops, missed that jump there. You gotta deal with these pigmans, kill them as fast as you can. And one more. Okay. Those balls are points, by the way, the ones that I just collected. And if you're asking, no, I'm not using a turbo controller. One more guy to deal with. And these are our big eyes. They're very annoying to dodge forever to kill, and they also hit you for a lot when they do hit you, so uh, just be very careful about them. They're um, extremely annoying, so uh, do your best to avoid them. Okay, so now it gets us to Gusman, and I'll show you the way to kill him before I talk about it, so um, just keep, keep an eye on it. Oops, missed one. Alright, miss a few jumps at the last part, but uh, basically what you want to do is jump while he, right as he hits the ground. Yeah, so you avoid his paralyzing attack. If you, if you time it right, and you shoot first while you're on the ground, and the second time while you're jumping, you'll get two hits pretty quickly. You'll, do, you'll dodge his attack, and that's basically the best way of killing him with the Mega Buster. So uh, next is Cutman. And Cutman's pretty easy to kill with the Mega Buster. At the same time, his stage is one of the easiest, so it is a good, great stage to start the game with. And again, it will, like I said, it is a speed run. I will make mistakes, I've already done a couple. But uh, basically the point of it is just to show you the best ways. Uh, just kind of a, a demo of a uh, speed run, basically. Should still be pretty entertaining, I would say. And it is pretty difficult to do this while talking, by the way. Compared to like a speed run, let's say of like Mega Man Zero games. Missed that jump. There we go. Made it a second try though. So uh, the way you want to do that, if you want, you want to jump to the left rather than the right, you save yourself a couple of seconds by doing that. Here's another great time saver. If you do it properly, just like this. If you do it properly, if you hit the first guy intentionally, you'll dodge past the second guy. This part you can do without getting hit. This part you do want to get hit though. So you get through this area without too much problems. You don't want to be shooting there by the way, it slows the game down. That part you can do without getting hit. Not a big uh, time waster though, so don't worry too much about it. And for obvious reason, I'm not getting that capsule there. Fast enough, you can actually um, avoid this guy, those two guys altogether. That gets us to big guy again. Okay, he managed to do a long jump this time, so I managed to dodge him, which is good. Gonna make the fight uh, for Cutman a little, let's say, epic. Okay. 
And uh, we're going to switch over to Gustman. It is uh, Cutman's weakness. So those two blocks on the ground, that's your main weapon. And you want to make sure that both hit, even if it means getting hit. So let's go ahead here. Okay, got hit once. There we go. So you're better off getting the two hits. Take the hit from Cutman if you have enough health. You want to make sure that those two hits. So uh, just to save yourself the best time, basically two hits, he dies. Best way to kill him, obviously. So, uh, Elekman is next, and uh, Elekman, I would have to say, is probably has the most overpowered weapon out of all Mega Man games. You'll get to see it pretty quickly. Let's see if we can make this, uh, like, pretty easily here. Oops, missed the first time. Okay, second try. Not too bad. Here, you want to get hit, so you can get past the second guy without getting, uh, losing time. And just, to, it's good tactics, like save yourself some time, jump on ladders, wait to save yourself some time. If you do this fast enough, if you kill the first two guys, you'll dodge the third guy without getting hit. And here you got a choice, either left or right. Normally you want to go right, but I'll show you the way to do it on the left. Because it is a time saver if you do it properly. Let's see if I can do it here. There we go, managed to do it. So um, yeah, that jump is pretty tricky, but with good practice you can do it uh, most of the time. And you don't have to worry about, don't have to wait for the blocks on the right hand side. So you got two, two pass, go to the right. Same thing as before, kill two guys, you get past the third guy. Fast enough and you'll dodge your light beams here. Here you can kill one guy only, and you get past the second guy like that. And here's why you need Gustman before you get to this stage. This is the Magnet Beam. You need this to beat the game. It's a great time saver for speedrun and if you don't have this before you get to Dr. Wally stage, you will get stuck. So uh, that's basically how you want to do the jump there. And with practice, uh, you can kind of master the, the use of this. Save yourself a great amount of time every once in a while. You can just uh, get used to it, uh, practice with it, and you can you can hold down the button this way and save yourself some time. Like you, you don't have to be perfect with it. Just uh, just play around with it and see what you can do. How um, kind of think of better ways to save yourself some time. Of course, big guy here made a small jump, so I got hit. And over here you can actually use uh, the magnet beam to save yourself some time too. You can kind of use it like that, where I just put it there. Didn't make the jump though, it's, uh, I haven't really practiced it so didn't want to try it. You save yourself a couple seconds that way though. That gets us to a Lightman. And just in case you're wondering, I actually don't have that much health against a Lightman. So, um, because his weapon is very overpowered. Yeah. Ironically, it's actually better to get hit from him. Like, uh, you're better off just being right next to him than uh, actually having to worry about his attack because his attack is very deadly, just like you saw. So obviously that was uh, that was a lot messier than it should have been. But uh, hey, as long as you kill him, that's okay, right? So next is Iceman. This is a slippery stage, and these guys you want to kill are in the head. You want to shoot them in their head rather than the bottom. One shot, one kill, that way. Once you kill the fourth, the fourth guy, switch over to Magnet Beam. These last for about seven seconds, so just count yourself. So you can save, this way you can um, save yourself a lot of time by jumping over the water like this great way to save yourself some time. But we're going to use this for a lot of this stage, so... Oh, I missed this. Alright, so I messed up here, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to use the, the block puzzle here. It's 
not too hard though. Whoops, missed this jump of course. Right over there is right, right right when I said that. I mess up. Gonna do it again. Basically that's the trickiest jump, that one. The last the block that's kind of over your head. So use up magnet beam again. Okay, that's um uh, not the preferred way of doing it, but it works. So Well yeah, if I didn't waste my, the magnet beam, whoops, didn't want to go there. But if I didn't waste the magnet beam earlier, um there's a much better way. You don't need to get the energy. You can just jump over everything. Don't need to worry about like um anything on the bottom there. Switching over to Lightman now though. You can kill them or jump over them. Whichever you like. Uh, they don't really lose any you don't really lose any time by killing them some just so you're aware. So that gets us to a light man. And um, let's see how powerful this thing is. One, two, three. Jump. Dead. So obviously a light beam is um well, I mean, it obviously it's just weakness, but you can see just how overpowered it can be. And it's, um, you can see how wide of a path it can go through also. So we'll get to use that uh, in Fireman, I'll show you. Um, it's a good stage to go through after you beat Fireman and Iceman. So I'll show you the ways of doing that. So here we're going to switch over to Lightman right from the start. Just to kill this guy, you can see kind of uh, what it does. Great for killing around, killing these guys. Kill two guys in one shot, always great. I'm gonna switch over to Iceman here though. Uh, Iceman is a great time saver for this stage because you can save, you can freeze these things. And save yourself a great amount of time by uh, jumping on them. If you time it right, you can save yourself quite a bit of time by using it. So I've been doing it properly. Basically right now all the jumps have been perfect. So again, with practice, you can use this or the magnet beam, both are good. I'll show you how to use a magnet beam efficiently in this stage in a couple seconds. These guys are kind of a bit, um, they move a bit randomly, so you kind of have to be a little lucky. Here's a great way of using the magnet beam though. Just jump over all that stuff. And here's a good time to actually use the magnet beam again. Whoops, messed that up, but yeah. You don't want to go to the right, you will get hit. And it, basically the magnet beam is a great time saver, you can do things like this. Just jump over stuff. And it's just all around fun to play with sometimes. Just don't be too, uh, too messy with it. Switch over to ice here. And just freeze these guys up. That's gonna get to us to uh, Fireman, and Fireman, his attacks are quite annoying to dodge. So uh, kill him before he kills you is the best strategy for him. So basic. So basically, you kind of want to. Um, if you shoot while you, right as you jump, it's a great way of keep shooting him and uh, possibly dodging his stack. So, but yeah, uh, Fireman is very annoying to kill with. Um, he's pretty annoying in this game, so uh, he'll get even more annoying in the next uh, next time you see him. So just let you know. So uh, Bombman is going to be our last guy, and uh, this stage is pretty easy. But uh, Bombman's weapon is really horrible, so you want to skip. Um, it's not a great. Stage. It's uh, this stage to start with, but yeah, Mega, his weapon just sucks. We're gonna skip over a lot of this stage. Remember, this lasts for about seven or eight, se seven seconds, so just time it properly, so you don't waste yourself. Uh, don't want to die that way. Oops, missed that one, kind of. All right, a little messier, whatever. That's the way to do that without getting hit. 
And here we're gonna meet Sniper Jack for the first time ever. But we're just gonna freeze him. Stop out of fighting him. Waste of time. And if you make these jumps properly, you save yourself a great amount of time again. And you just skip through for a lot of the stage just uh, using this, so. Once you get used to it, again. Great way to save yourself some time. Here, this is the dangerous part, by the way. Man, it should do it properly, though. Very tricky, and can, uh, it can add a speed run faster than you really can think about it. Because the spikes do, um, there's no recovery time if you get, like, if you, if you get hit and fall down those spikes, you will get hit. There's no ifs or nuffs about it, you will die. So just be mindful, the spikes work differently than the other Mega Man games in this. Switch over to Fireman, if you're good, you're gonna avoid hitting those guys. But it's great to use it uh, just to save yourself. And Bomb Man... Whoops, I'm kind of like messing around here, but whatever. The best way of killing him is actually to run to him, uh, so he jumps, and then just keep on spamming him with the uh, the fire weapon there. Okay, once uh, Bomb Man is out, though, uh, we get to meet our old, or our rather new friend right now, Dr. Wily. So hopefully uh, we get to take care of him in this game. I sure don't want to meet him in other games. Um, hopefully it's it is the only time we see him. We don't know though. We surely don't know. And sure enough, um, he goes into his UFO, nice little UFO music as he goes away. And as you start, you want to switch over to ice. So you can freeze these guys. There's going to be three upcoming. Whoa. Okay. Didn't do it properly, let's try it again. Okay. So, you just got to be careful though. Okay, so uh, continuing on here. Switch over to Legman to get rid of these blocks. Managed to do that properly. It's actually a tricky jump. Okay. This is actually, by the way, just to let you know, this that jump is tougher than it looks for whatever reason. And I've actually died a couple of times trying to do a run. Out of the blue, sometimes you, you do it properly and all of a sudden, you die. Like, you just miss the jump. Okay, so just get through right here. I'm gonna switch over to Magnet Beam here. Take the stupid hit here. I hate that hit. Okay, be mindful about the time. Again, step... This is approximately 7 seconds, so just be mindful. Here's why you need the Magnet Beam. Oh, of course. Alright, so... Alright, so I wasted a lot of Magnet Beam there, but uh, we're only going to use this uh, one more time in the game, so... Um, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to switch over to Legman here. And we're going to get up to one of the most infamous bosses out of all Mega Man history. Good old Yellow Devil. This is your first meeting. Whoops, why did I jump there? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. So obviously I kind of messed up right from the start. But the pattern is pretty easy, so oh, of course I'm... Yeah, for whatever reason I'm getting hit. This is pretty easy to do without getting hit. I'm jumping too high for whatever reason. Just make small. Okay, I'm not talking anymore, okay? I'm just getting through this edit, this attack here. Again, it's more difficult while you're talking. It'd be pretty stupid to die against this guy right now. There's no reason why you should die to him, like if you've got, got the pattern down path. And obviously you can use the pause trick if you want to, but uh, don't skip out, just do the fight normally. 
I mean, he's not that difficult. Just time consuming. Okay, and that takes care of Yellow Devil. And yeah, well, just be careful though. Don't get hit too much. Okay, so we're gonna get right to one of the trickier parts right from the start again. Uh, this is a tricky area, just be careful. You can die pretty easily here, so just be mindful. Do kind of what I'm doing here. Okay, that's a lot trickier than it looks. If you get hit by the... whoops, messed up there. But if you get hit by that, uh, that guy that kind of flies there, it's instant death, so just be careful. What is he doing? Okay. There we go. Decided to be tricky all of a sudden here. Alright. There should be no need of getting hit by Cutman. Wasted health there. It is about 3 a.m. here, just to let you know, so. Been running a night shift. Pretty tired. Switch over to Cutman. And if you time it right, save yourself some, uh, like you can kill him in the second, on, like two times in the first, on the second hit. Okay. Just dodge these, don't worry too much about it. Over here you want to switch over to Fireman. Don't use up too much though, this is what you're gonna, this is the most important weapon in the rest of the game, just to let you know. Go down. Haven't got any health, unfortunately, or capsules, so I've been a little unlucky. Yeah, because uh, you want to use, you want to keep as much firepower as possible for uh, for later on. Now it is um, this guy's weakness. I don't know what we're finding yet, though. But let's see. Oh, okay, just my evil twin. And yeah, he has a flinching, uh, same as you. So, yeah. Time your jump properly. You kind of want to shoot him halfway in, during your jump, so that this way you can hit him even if he jumps. So if, you, if he jumps or stays on the ground, you will hit him. Um, yeah, Fireman's power, I didn't don't have as much as I would like, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue, though. There's ways of getting more power, so... third of Mega... Try not to get hit too much here. Of course, I get hit on third. Let's see if I can dodge this at least. Okay. Alright. That was messy. Kind of want to save uh, energy for, for the boss because <clears throat> he can hurt. Get through this pretty quickly. Six penguins. Now do not shoot here. You want to jump over these guys. Like this. You're actually better off going fast in this area rather than like shooting and dodging and... There we go. Alright, this gets us to this room and this is going to be one of the more annoying boss fights in the whole game. Ah, I'm messing around for... Okay, one more, hopefully I'm lucky. Okay, alright. I got a little lucky there, but well, I don't want to switch this, but... Okay, switching over to Guts, Ben. And one more. There we go. Yeah, I kind of got... Luckily, he, he came from the top, but I lost too much health there. That I needed to. Made it uh, a little... Uh, a little tricky, and uh, put out a swear word. A little quick one, that's alright. Okay. Ah. You can tell I'm pretty tired though. 
I'm messing a little. I'm messing up quite a bit. More than I should. Still gonna try to run this without getting hit or killed here. Uh, there's a trick to this. I'm actually not gonna get that here. You want to keep yourself enough, uh... Not sure why I'm waiting around here, but... Okay. Oh, I was a little more careful than I really need to be there. That's fine. Switch over to Magnet Beam. This is the last time you'll ever use it. Oh, why do I make stuff difficult to worry for myself? This is funny. Alright, switch over to Fireman. I'm making very dip I'm making it very um, way too difficult for myself, I think. Should make it the uh, last fight exciting though. Oh man, this is exciting. I got a feeling it's gonna be right to the... the last hit. Let's see if I can... Alright. Oh, this is gonna be exciting, isn't it? Will I make it? Our final amount of energy. And here we have Dr. Wily. Let's see if we can do this. I will be more careful than normal. Switch over to Kanman if you run out of fire. Yep. And we made it. I don't know why I made this more difficult than it should be, but, uh, yeah, alright. So, as you can see, you got to run through all the, um, the boss, the robot masters again. Made it a lot more interesting than it should be, but, yeah, I guess it's for the viewers, right? And we got Dr. Wily. Yeah, just, uh, kneeling before you. Oh, he's pleading for his life. We'll, we'll be merciful this time. I'm sure he's never gonna cause us any more trouble, I think. So Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wilder and restored the world to peace. So how long is that gonna last? However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Of course, you can put him to jail or like kill him or something. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. And here we have your good old end credits. So yeah. It, it's, uh, as you can see, it is a pretty difficult game. I got, uh... It's right around, uh, what is it? 3.30, 3.30 a.m. here. Pretty tired. Was working, uh, till midnight today, so... Pretty tired, I'll, uh... It's part of, uh... Just wanted to put this up, though. And for whatever reason here, Mega Man's a boy in this game. They kind of, like, switched this around for, I think... Like they switched this around for all the other Mega Man games, so this is like the only time you kind of really see this him this week, as far as I know. But yep, this is Mega Man. I'll show you some other Mega Man games in the near future. I'll probably uh, next will be if you want to know, will be a little surprise, but it is start with Mega Man and it does end with X4 so see you later